All right, here at Froxton we have this killer uh, regular cab F250 4x4. Uh, it's got an XLT, so it's got the 460 automatic, uh, all power options, power door locks. Um, it's in, uh, you know, all original paint except for the hood and the uh, cowl, I could tell, has been repainted at one point. And it's this, uh, it's called Vermilion, which is a bright red uh, clear coat. It's a really pretty red. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and get around here. It's got about 231,000 miles on it. It's always been in Washington State, so it's a rust free truck. Uh, it's had good maintenance, and but you know it is an old truck. It's got uh, you know what are we working on? 26 years in age, so we'll kind of go around it. Um, you know, I've been all through it. You know, gone into the gas doors. You don't see any tape lines, um, no overspray or anything. Any signs of paint work? You know, it's got clean washing title. No no tape line in the door jams. Uh, the only I see a little bit where the cowl and the hood are slightly different red, but they are starting to peel with the clear coat issues. Uh, there's a few issues on this truck that's got some clear coat issues. Um, but the great thing about this truck is it still has a great look. A lot of it's the color and kind of the stance it has. Uh, clean regular cabs are really hard to find. But you know, 26 years old, it's got some miles on it, runs and drives killer. It's got a really strong motor. Um, but we'll go ahead and start on the exterior. We do a driving video later um, and we'll walk in the interior here. So it has a lot of your older truck expected stuff. Um, you know, like they talk about the hood on the paint, it's, um, and the roof is also has some clear cut going. So if you do wash it with high pressure, you're going to want to be careful. Um, you know, it's got some chips and stuff along the front, kind of like your typical stone chips you'd expect. Um, you know, the corner lights show some aging, it's condensation along with the headlights. Um, looks like they painted the coves uh, and the grill when they painted the hood, which always looks nice. But you know, it does have some chips and some, some aging going on. Uh, chrome looks nice, got good depth, but there's some aging going on. Um, you know, the nice thing about this truck is that it's got pretty much equal wear all the way around. I mean, it matches. You don't have one area that looks nicer or newer than the other. Um, you got your stone chips along the valance. You can see the bumper's in nice shape, good chrome. All the trim's nice. I mean, the bumper's nice and straight with good gaps. It doesn't take, you guys, you know these trucks, it doesn't take a whole lot to bump something and it tweaks these bumpers. Um, it did have some fender flares on it. And it kind of did that, you know, fender flare wear mark in the paint, but we took them off because they were, you know, faded and didn't look so hot. A couple of them had little cracks, um, but we also want to show how rust free the underside is of these, uh, uh, of the fenders, uh, the wheel wells don't have any rust. You know, put fender flares on there, sometimes people get worried. So an easy fix would just be, uh, you know, get a pair of fender flares painted red would look great, or get a nice new set. They were kind of faded to a black. Um, it's got a leveling kit on it, a suspension leveling kit with some 285 Nittos and some 16 inch Alcoa 5 star wheels. Um, still a lot of tread left in the tires, you know, probably uh, about 50%. Um, but throughout the truck you're going to find a little wear in the paint here. You can see the clear coat on the, on the visor, it's got some issues. Um, it looks like maybe it had one of those plastic visors that went around the door and somebody pulled it. Um, these old, you know, these early 90s ladies trucks get kind of sensitive paint. Um, there was actually a recall for the clear coat issues. You'll see the paint's a little worn here. It's not flaked, it's just worn from uh, years of buffing. It probably chipped at one point. Um, both door sweeps, you know, are cracked or brittle, but the great thing is about these trucks is you can get, you know, the mirrors got aging. You can get brand new mirrors for about 20 bucks to the door, uh, depending on what style you go with. Door sweeps for a set of four, 30 bucks to the door, 35 bucks. Um, you can see a little bit of Clear coat's lifted there, but it's still nice and shiny and smooth, so, you know, it's kind of hard, it's just hard to tell if it's head paint work or not, but uh, been all over this thing, and it, I don't see any tape lines or blow lines, I mean, you can see nice paint in between the bed, it's got the solid back window, it's got deep tint all the way around, um, you know, the door sweeps have put a little bit of scratches in the side windows, and your rocker's got a little, you know, some of that stone chipping. Got some stone chipping there, and it's going to kind of continue all the way through. A little ding in the aluminum trim. Again, you can have kind of your fender flare rust or fender flare uh, wearing, but there's no rust in the in the bed. You got your stone chips. You know, tail lights are a little faded. Original 4x4 decal in nice shape. You know, bedside's got some wear, some loading chips and scratches you'll find throughout. You know, a little sketch there. Well, scuffs in the paint. This is actually tree sap, so you can get that to come off. Same there. And this looks like maybe a little bit of house paint got on there. So a lot of the stuff you could get to come out and get it to look a lot a lot better. But overall, it's still a killer looking truck. 
I mean, there's stuff going down the road, you don't see this stuff. Sitting in a parking lot, you know, 10 feet away, you don't see this stuff. You know, got some chips around the tailgate. Just your typical stuff. You know, loading chips and scratches, but the tailgate's nice and straight. You know, it's got really nice body lines all the way throughout the truck. You can see nice gaps on the door. Shuts nice, no hinge issues. Really nice gaps there. The, uh, the hood's got nice gaps here. But it is a little bit tight towards the cowl here. So go ahead and take you around. Back bumper looks nice. No big dents or tweaks. Got a little ding down here. You know, this looks like somebody, there's a hole in the aluminum piece and they probably had a decal over to cover it. You know, tail lights got some, some, some aging. You know, clear coats got some lifting issues here and then it stops and you got your bedside kind of some loading issues. So, you know, no dents or anything. Um, you can see you got your normal kind of chips along here. You in the same fender flare wear, but just a super solid truck. Looks like, uh, you know, the exhaust has been replaced with a dual Flowmaster, but maybe somebody ran over something and hit the factory exhaust and pushed it up. Rear tires. Um, but as you go, you know, we do the driving video and I'll talk more about the mechanicals. But again, you got the cracking here, you know, the, the tent is pulling up a little bit on the inside, kind of mirrors got the same wear. A little less door entry wear on this side since it's the passenger side. You know, your typical stone chips. Again, just a fair flare, but uh, no big dents on this truck. There's a couple little dings. Um, it really helps keep it a good looking truck. Take inside here, this is what I was talking about. It's got the dark gray. They stopped doing this in 93. This is the last year for it. Then they went to the light gray. But door panels are nice shape. Some little marks here. You know, the writing's still faded there, but really nice door hinges. Dash is just in really clean condition. Got all this, there's no cracks. You know, it's a non-smoker truck. Ashtray still works good. It's a little dirty in there, probably from homes and coins and stuff. Um, I did get one of these off eBay, so you'll get a new one that has the, the piece there. They just you get a flathead and pop them out and push them in. You know, carpets for being 26 years old are really nice shape. You know, this truck doesn't have any odors or anything, but you know, you can see where the mat usually is. It's a little darker. There's a little discoloring in some of the entry sides, but it's a little faded. And, uh, but the bench seat looks really nice. It's hard to, I mean, there's just one little area I'll show you on the driver's side, but the fight, the, the, uh, um, headliner's in nice shape. No sagging or anything. Oh, it's a little dark there, but the visors stay in place. Again, this door shuts really nice. Nice gaps. It's got that killer kind of deep sound to it. I'll take you around here to the driver's side. Um, only issues on the dash is, you know, these get some holes drilled in here, probably maybe for those, had some different lights or something like that. Again, the floor is in the same kind of condition. And I got pictures of this taken off. You know, a little dark discoloring here. You know, no cracks, no rust. You know, this is the signal for the uh, dome light, so that's gonna need to be replaced. But O'Reilly's or Napa or any of those have them. Or you can get them right on eBay or Amazon, and they're just a single screw and you're good to go. Um, this has got kind of your common, I don't know what kind of paint or what material they used on these speakers, but a lot of them have this kind of brown surface rust. But other than that, the door panel's really nice. It just has a little, some wearing right here, um, and then a little wearing right up here. And both sides of the door panels do have a little of the common sun fading. They got a little bit of surface rust on the metal part of the wing window. But look, you can see it had steps on it at one point. Those things are gone. Um, go ahead and get in here and fire this beast up. It's got a great sound to it. Um, but like I was saying, you'll talk more in the driving video, but you can tell there's been good maintenance. You get underneath it, you can tell it's had shocks not too long ago, the front brakes were done ball joints, um, all U joints all the way around the truck been done. Um, it's got headers with uh, high flow caps and uh, true dual full master exhaust, so it sounds awesome. You can see it's just running nice and smooth, no famous 460 exhaust leaks. 
You know, it's got a full tune-up not too long ago. It's nice maintenance. I mean, you still got a, a nice tie down. I mean, to see all this stuff, you know, somebody took care of it. A lot of times, people put batteries in, and if the factory tie downs go to hell, they don't even bother. So, you know, Illinois, not too long ago. You know, oftentimes, this this is busted out, and this is hanging down. But to see this stuff, yeah, it's got some miles, it's got some age, and some wear on the paint. But uh, you can tell it's been, you know, well taken care of. We'll take you back and so you can hear the it's just got a nice kind of muscle car rumble to it you can see the shocks you know if you can see it, i'm not sure if you'll be able to see in here but you know the brakes are you know nice and new this calipers got a little bit of surface rust on them but um but all right this is uh our 93 f250 the hard to find xlt uh four by four regular cab all right here we are for our 93 f250 uh, it's a big block 460 4x4, the regular cab. Got all the lights working. The visor lights look killer at night here. It's getting a little late in the day. It's about 4.30 here. It's just getting a little cold. But you can see the lights got some condensation in them. The headlights are looking a little yellow. Um, but it runs really strong. You know, it's not shaking. It's felt, it's got a little, just tiny chirp to it. Um, but, you know, no manifold leaks, no knocking, no ticking, no smoking. Um, but it's got uh, headers with high flow cats and true dual flow master exhaust, so it sounds just killer. Uh, this thing's got a lot of rip to it. It's it's a blast to drive. You can see it's sort of nicely clean. Somebody put some lights down there. Um, again, it's mostly original paint. It's got some imperfections here and there. Um, the hood and the cowl been repainted at some point, but that's kind of gone south, as talked about in the other video. Um, but uh, no rust. You know, nice Northwest truck. It was traded into us. Um, you know, it's got some, it's got 231 on it. Um, you know, good maintenance. Let's talk about in, in the ad. You know, there's U joints. You can tell been down the ball joints. Uh, you can tell the transmission was serviced not too long ago. All the exhaust, full tune up. Um, you know, battery, a bunch of stuff. Um, oil pan gasket looks like it was not not that long ago, but you know, it's still a, you know, big block, older big block, and it does put a little bit of oil down on the ground uh, when it's been sitting for a little while. So it's uh, kind of something to consider. You know, the heater works killer. You know, works at all speeds. It doesn't just when they get wore out, they only work on high. So, um, but the AC doesn't blow cold anymore. You know, everything's there and working. You can see the AC clutch kicking on. Um, you know, hasn't been bypassed. It's just old Freon, so you might need a pound or two in there. Um, you know, it's got power door, power windows. You know, the tent's getting a little old, um, but that's you know easy fix. You can just scrape that right off, or just take it to a tent shop and retint it. Fly windows lock. The wing window stayed in place, nice and tight. And you got power door locks. You know, this is just kind of a killer truck. It's just got a great sound to it, great muscle car sound to it. Um, you know, I got it. You know, the regular cabs are just really hard to find. Um, this one's got a good look to it. You know, it's a. Uh, um, you know, I thought about you know they're they're great driving the regular cabs because they're easy to get around with trailers. Um, you know, you get the F three fifty crew cabs. They're just monsters. But you know my son, he's four. He get you know we took this out and he got to sit next to me in the in the car seat and he just loved it. So I uh, kind of kind of thought about keeping it and throwing the car trailer behind it. Got the e-brake on and it's in gear. Obviously it gets going there. So I got these lights on just so you can see a little bit in here. Um, so you got here, of course the wipers work, all that stuff. You know a little chip in the glass right there. Low speed and then you got your intermediate. You know, these are probably for the lights up front. There's another hole that's been drilled. Just little stuff like that. You know, this truck, it's it's, it's easy to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the overdrive off. It's easy to forget just because, you know, you might be so used to seeing these trucks and enjoying them that, man, this truck is, uh, you know, it's, it's knocking on, you know, 30 years old. It's working its way up there. It's rounding the corners. So you do get little stuff like that. The dash is really nice. It's, uh, you know, it's got some little clear coat issues here and there. But uh, it still has a great look about it. A lot of it's the color and just kind of the stance the truck has. But really tight steering. I mean, all the steering's been done. There's, you don't need to do anything up front. It still soaks up the bumps really nice. You know, it's an F-250 with 285-33s on it, basically. Um, you get a little bit of wind noise. You know, they never were wind silent from the beginning. Um, another the most aerodynamic on the face of the planet, but uh, brakes nice and smooth. You know the brake pedal is 
Um, I've had quite a few of the 94 to 97s, but not a lot of the 90, you know, 93 and older. I mean, the 93 and 92 have some stuff that's different than the 96s and stuff like that. And the brake pedal, it's good. It's always there. It's right where it should be. It doesn't fade away, but it is just a little bit more stiffer than um, I kind of expected. But um, but the brakes have just been done. Um, you can see all the all new calipers, rotors. You know, that's another thing that's been done on this thing. So it's really just just a killer truck. Oil change just been done. So I'm gonna take the overdrive, uh, turn it back on. And you could never push this button and just, you know, it's all driver preference, you know. But I just want to show it worked. Just nice up shifts. You know, you get a little bit of wind noise. No shaking or shuddering. I mean, you can see it's just an easy drive. You know, doing 60. Up to 72. You know, like you see, the hood's still got nice shine to it. Man, I got to turn the heater off. It's just smoking. Cruise control is on and working. So I'll go ahead and turn that off. Get the brakes here a little bit. But it's this, it's a great truck, you know, it's kind of a nice blank canvas for somebody if somebody's looking for just a work truck or just a nice classic truck to cruise around on or you need a weekend warrior, you know, workhorse around the house um, or pulling some horses or you got a car trailer you need to tow every once in a while the track. It's got a nice kick down. Um, but, uh, or if somebody's looking for somebody to fix something up, they want to do a paint job, they want to do some upgrades, they want to do some improvements, this is great because you, you know, you're going to have some little imperfections, but you're going to know exactly what you're looking at. There's no Bondo, no five repaints. Um, you know, it's a no rush truck. It's had a lot of mechanicals already taken care of, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, what, 26 years old, so it's, you know, got some little things you can do to it, some fun stuff. You know, all the U joints have been done, um, shocks are just done. But you can see it's soaking up those bumps. There were some, some big potholes there. There's a here a patch job. Soaks it up nice. You know, kind of, this truck kind of, you know, even though technically the high boy for most people ended in 77 and a lot of people will continue to 79, this truck with the leveling kit kind of has a 90s high boy look to it. Um, you know, it's not too big. It's It doesn't have that front down rake. It's just got a... A nice tire that fills up the wheel wells it doesn't stick out it just kind of has that cool look to it you know I just sold a 75 red high boy and I had this park next to it and it just looked really cool these things next to each other because you could just see the year progression on them so you can see it's really tight coming through these corners no ball joint clunking nope no tie rod needs steering wheel gives you resistance like it should want to and then it wants to pull back You know, the four-wheel drive works and everything like that. It's just a shift on the fly. You pull down on it, but it's super dry out here, so um, I don't want to pull down on it, but it, it engages good. Um, so it's just really nice to tighten. And, uh, you know, right now I'm on the fence. Might put a reserve on it, but uh, there's a good chance it can be no reserve as we usually do their auctions. The only thing is, is uh, you know, might run a reserve because my kid loves it, and uh, it can be some fun for us. So... Uh, good luck, and uh, if it's no reserve, it's going to be a full no reserve, you know, high bidder takes it.